We generally support the notion that adding power improves any vehicle, even if every car need not rearrange your innards with G-forces in order to be fun. A case in point is the updated 2017 Kia Soul, which finally is available with a perky turbocharged engine that not only brings a significant boost in performance but an altogether more thoroughly executed feel. Limited to the range stopping. Model, exclaim, in the Kiaverse. The Soul's new turbo setup starts at a reasonable $23,695. While that's nearly $7,000 dearer than the based Soul, and $1,545 more than last year's non-turbo exclaim, the upcharge includes Hyundai and Kia's corporate turbocharged 1.6-liter inline-four making 201 horsepower and 195 pounds to foot of torque. 71 horses more than the Soul's standard, naturally aspirated 1.6-liter and a solid 40 more ponies than the now mid-level 2.0-liter 4-cylinder. The 1.60s power builds smoothly, and its 1,500 revolution per minute torque peak translates into ample mid-range grunt. We dig the raspy fizz from the turbo's twin tailpipes which sounds spunky yet won't draw the attention of aggro dudes in slammed Honda Civics. Although if they notice the exclaim specific red stripe around the lower body, it's probably on. You've been warned. Turbocharged Transformation The Soul's turbo engine is paired exclusively with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which does without racy launch control programming or paddle shifters. Manual gear changes are possible via the console shifter. Despite those omissions and carrying 117 pounds more weight than the last 2.0-liter sole we tested, our 3,202-pound test car dashed to 60 miles per hour a full 2.0 seconds quicker, 6.5 seconds versus 8.5 and its 15.1 second quarter mile pass at 93 miles per hour was better by 1.6 seconds and 9 miles per hour for reference, in our last comparison test of subcompact crossovers, in which that 2.0 liter 2015 Soul finished second, the victorious Mazda CX-3 could manage only 8.1 and 16.3 second runs. Even the 215-horsepower Nissan Juke Nismo RS trails the Soul Turbo in a straight line, and both it and the CX-3 are notably tighter inside than the Kia. Our test car's 24-mile-per-gallon observed fuel economy, however, was considerably lower than the EPA's 28-mile-per-gallon combined rating and 1-mile-per-gallon less than what we got with the 2.0-liter Soul. The 30 miles per gallon that the turbo returned on our 200-mile highway loop also was shy of the EPA's estimate but by only 1 mile per gallon. Still, don't think of the Solix claim as a hot hatch in the vein of the Volkswagen GTI or the Mazda 3 2.5 liters. This is simply a bubbly and obedient little box with competent road manners, respectable ride comfort, and plenty of pep to squirt through traffic all of which helped the Soul line up earn a 10 Best Trucks and SUVs award for 2017 as our favorite subcompact crossover. The only chassis tweaks for the turbo are mostly unnoticeable suspension adjustments and larger front brake rotors, 12.0 inches in diameter versus the regular 11.0 inches. Our test car's 169-foot stop from 70 miles per hour and 0.81 gram skid pad orbit are comparable with the results of other soles we've tested. And while the turbo has its own standard 18-inch wheel design, similarly sized pieces wrapped in the same Cumho Solus TA31 all-season tires, 235-45 R18, are optional on lesser trim levels. What's missing from the Soul's turbo equation is a manual gearbox, which Kia continues to restrict to the base car, despite offering it with the 1.6T in its Forte 5SX hatchback. The 7-speed automatic is generally well-tuned at speed, 
yet its shifts can be lazy for a dual clutch in the Soul's normal drive setting, resulting in some jerkiness around town and in stop-and-go traffic. We usually toggled the drive mode button to sport as soon as we started the car, as it removes some slack from the drivetrain by sharpening the throttle and transmission programming while still permitting the gearbox to use its top gear while cruising. Sport also increases the heft of the precise if num steering. It adds boost and torque gauges to the digital speedometer readout and italicizes the display font for added theater, too. We'd call the latter feature a bit cheesy, but remember this is a car with available lighted speaker surrounds that flash and sync to music. Damn phones, Babylon's came